Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new 2.5 dimensional seduction angels on stage video. And we got a new update. And in that update, as you might have seen, there's a one month celebration campaign that is now live. Anime missions, 2.5 dimensional emotion, new story added, celebration missions. We've got Ideal Junior, Rarissa, Amano, Limited Premium Wish. We've got a Hidden Passion, Dark Elf, Social Equip, Full Set, Suzuki Premium Wish. We've also got an SS Guaranteed Welcome Wish. One Month Anniversary Limited Pack, Main Story Chapter 10, 2.5 Dimensional Emotion Chapter 4. On top of that, we are getting 300 Star Jewels and 10,000 Contest Coins in reference to a fixed issue, so you'll want to claim those out of your present box. Now the one month celebration campaign, you're going to have a login bonus, you can get tickets for up to 10 times regular wishes as well as missions, clear missions to receive star jewels and S or higher character gifts plus and the limited pack get power up materials at a great value. So make sure you're logging in. With the new story, of course, you're going to be able to get a premium wish ticket, so you're going to want to get that done. We did get a new character banner, the Rarissa Mono Ideal Junior. We'll talk about that in a sec. And probably one of the coolest aspects is the community battle. That is live for practicing already. It doesn't actually... Um, the main battles don't start till October 6th, but you can log in through your community section and do practice battles against the four that are available pretty straightforward it's nothing different in the game but you'll be competing against other players i'm happy about this i'll be curious to try out they're pretty high to level three i don't think anybody a month into this game is going to be that ready for it but who knows but at least you can start putting together what teams you want to be using so that's the good news now going into the wish section here, you're going to see we do have that SS guaranteed welcome wish, but that is with paid currency. So keep that in mind. We still have for two more days, the Riri Festival wish, which in my opinion is if you're free to play is what you should be striving to be pulling on um, each month for those increased rates and would probably stay away from the other banners. But what we did get right now is our newest character banner premium wish like i said unless the character is absolutely stellar or you gotta have it i would stick with the festival ones because of the rate ups but let's go ahead and take a look at the character now this rarissa ideal junior let's look at these skills here so we've got v for victory performs 120 percent appeal on a single opponent and grants 20 percent crit rate up buff to all allies for two turns that's actually kind of nice we i don't I'm trying to think off the top of my head a character at least that I'm not using that increases the crit by that much and especially the all allies so that's not bad at all then we've got pay attention performs 120% appeal on a single opponent and grants 10% charm up buff to all allies for one turn nice that there's a buff added to that so you have two very significant appeals on this character that's nice to see then we've got I'm fired up Forms a 576% appeal on a single opponent and grants 20% crit points up buff to self for one turn. When target's current EP is at or above 70% points, dealt by this appeal increases according to how high EP is. Not bad either. And then we've got Ideal Junior increases own crit rate by 30% at start of first standby phase. So yeah, definitely not a bad character at all. I definitely, though, if you're a free-to-play or very, very light spender like most are in this game because of the monetization in it, I just would stay away from all these banners and be completely focusing on festival banners because they should come. Again, we won't know to the next one, but if it's very similar to Eminence and Shadow, we're probably going to see this every six weeks gives you plenty of time to save up and then your rates are going to be much higher for you to hopefully pull more than one SS. So to me, it makes much more sense to focus on these festival banners. Again, that could change if you had like an anniversary or a half Annie or something very special with a character. 
then if the character is really that top notch then you would look to those other banners but to me festival is the only way to go the only other things of really any pertinence is they did do an adjustment for crowd pleaser buff description and it basically states how it's going to be for Ikora Nagomi, the undeniable presence. It's going to have some rewording done as well as the Mariella um, skill. Do you like it? Makara Tachibana. Um, they are making some adjustments to the wording for that. And if you're using either of those characters, you're definitely going to want to see what the difference is so you're aware when playing that character. But outside of that, that's about the end of it for this update. I'm really most excited for the community battle coming live. I'm curious to see how that all plays out and how the rewards are for it. And, you know what to expect you're going to see a new character every couple weeks but again i'd be very tentative with this game we'll look at the first month's revenue here pretty quickly it should come out in the next day or two and see where this game is falling but yeah given the way they monetize i am worried i'm basically playing it with very little spending at all in the game because of their monetization at this point just to track and see how the game was i think the game's a really solid game i think it's incredibly original and fresh but they've still got some tweaking to do when it comes to monetization so with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot have a great day